Hi there, my name's Andrew Adams from Park Adams Boat Sales on a beautifully warm evening in the middle of June. And behind me, I have a really, really interesting rib. I'm very excited to bring you this rib because this rib, I think, has a fantastic place in the UK market um, because it has us packed full of features in that mid, mid range rib quality. So, to give you an idea of what I think this rib competes with, it competes with the Briggs, it competes with the Grands, it competes with the Zodiacs. And I think on many, many levels, it actually beats them. And one of the key features of this rib as to what makes it so unique is an Adam Younger designed hull. Now, for those of you who don't know, Adam Younger is a designer who specialised in creating very, very fast power boats. And what he's done is team up with North Star. And he is, I believe, the own, North Star is the only rib company that is able to use an Adam Younger painted hull. What it is, it's a twin stepped hull that gives breathtaking performance out of an eight metre rib, or in the case of this range, which is the Orion range, the six metre, seven metre and eight metre ribs, and actually even larger than that as well. So if we look at the ribs, one of the things that strikes me about the rib is obviously they have a, a really high performance pedigree, but they're also packed full of lots and lots of features that I think are, are really, really important in the rib market. And so let's just have a step back here and I can just show you the profile of the boat. Um, the biggest thing I will say about the boat when you first look at it is that it is chunky. This is a serious bit of kit. The tube diameter on these is absolutely enormous. Um, now, Jonathan and I actually looked at these when we went to Dusseldorf this year to the boat show there, and it was really noticeable that on the Dusseldorf stand, they had a massive stand. They're a Turkish brand, and they had a big, big presence at Dusseldorf, loads of people on the stand all the time, and I would describe them as a really, really f a big up-and-coming brand. So, what's the details on this boat? So, it's powered by the Mercury Verado 300, that's the 300 V8, and that pushes this boat along in speeds in excess of 50 knots. Now, to give you an idea, um, other rib brands that are around the eight meter mark with the same engine, probably are about three or four knots slower. So the performance is very strong from this hull, but you also have um, the ability of keep using less fuel because you've got a stepped hull design, um, there's less wetted area. So the performance is something which is really, really notable with this engine. When I've been out on it, it's incredibly punchy. But let's talk about the features of the boat. Something I like is this step um, through here. You've got the walkway access. On so many ribs, when you go swimming, etc., you then have to climb over the seats. But that's not the case on here. You've got a dedicated um, walkway all the way through. There's a transom sh mounted shower in the back here, together with a three-step ladder on the transom, and then sensibly placed grab handles so you can get on board the boat really nice and easily. And then you have a towing hook here to tow toys, skiers, etc. The tube diameters, as I mentioned, are really, really chunky on this. And you can see just from this view at the top, you've got a really, I would say that is a good, probably 10 centimeters plus wider than the equivalent um, tubes on perhaps a ribeye or, or a Cobra rib. And certainly if you look at this console, it is big, lots and lots of protection there. Let's carry on at the back and then I'll work my way forward. So at the back, you've got the seating here, enough for three people, and of course this excellent walkway through I mentioned earlier. Grab hands in nice places, speakers at the back so that the rear people can enjoy their entertainment. And in fact, you've actually got a Fusion, I think it looks like an ERX 300 at the back there as well, which can control the zone as well, so the people at the back can control the music. If I had one criticism sitting on the seats here, it's quite hard. So I'd say that the, um, the seating could probably do with being a slightly plusher. It's quite a hard seat, um, but it's in a nice practical colour and I like the, the orange stitching in there. If we lift this up, you've got a really nice sort of lazarette style space inside here. Battery isolator nestling at the top there. And you've got enough space in there to put perhaps a paddleboard or two and store some daily essentials. Good gas strut, I like the fact that's there. Um, you've got the ability to put a cool box under here, so a cool box can go into that area there. So in order to access that, you would just lift up and the catch there, you've got a couple of catches and that drop back, drops back down again. And you've got a table that can pop into the back here. So this creates quite a nice dining space at the back, two people sitting backwards and then three along the side here. It's a PVA foam deck on this boat, so it's really nice and spongy underfoot. And then you've got the seating position. Now you've got a, a style of seat here where you've got, you pull that down and you've got a full seat, or you lift that up and you've got a bolster position and a really nice foothold there so you can really hunky yourself in. Underneath the seat, you've got a drawer fridge. So you've got a big size pull out fridge, which is nice. And then you've got another bit of dry storage um, just inside here where it's a good place to put the covers for the Simrad plotters, etc. 
Um, you've got a couple of Simrad Go 9s on this boat, um, interfaced in with the Mercury gauges, so you've got all your Mercury data in here, and then obviously all your charts and your standard array of carling switches. Um, power steering, of course, standard on, the, on all the Verados. Just pull that off, it needs to be secured a little better. Um, power steering standard on all the Verados and a really nice um, leather, leather style um, steering wheel. Little cubby hole access in there, you've got the, the lights with fusion speakers. And in fact, this boat is fitted with the latest Mercury um, it, system where that's a man overboard system there. So that if you fall overboard and you've got one of those, that will automatically cut the engine. In terms of the driving position, I like the fact that you can hunker yourself in. Um, again, the seat is very hard, um, but it's practical and out the way. What you do have is a good high um, windscreen. So on a day when perhaps it was raining or it was a very windy day, you've got a lot of protection here. Um, as you're standing here, the wind is going to be pushing over your head really nicely. So good seating position. As we then walk through, one of the things you'll notice is that really the width of the side rails. You really feel that you're deep inside this boat when you're walking around it. Uh, more fusion speakers down here. And then inside this compartment, this is absolutely huge in here. You've got this cavernous area which um, can have a sea toilet fitted. And they've just got a sea toilet potty style there, or more of a bucket. Um, and then access to all of your uh, gauges, the rears of them just there. And there's also a sink on board, but that's pretty deep in there. Um, if it were mine, I would probably be fitting a normal sea toilet in there, uh, which would then go out to a holding tank. So that just gives comfort for the family on those days out. I like the fact this is lined. It's got a, um, a carpet lining throughout that, which just makes it feel that little bit more luxurious. And I'll close that down again. This area at the front can convert into a sun pad area. So you've got a couple of cushions, which are just inside there. And they're nicely branded in the North Star bags there. And they make up this area here into a full sun deck. So that creates quite a nice lounging space at the front. But I like the quality fact that you've got some really good gas struts around the place. When you lift up lockers, they don't bang down again. And actually it takes quite a lot of force to push that back down again. So that's not gonna flip up in a, in a hurry. Very big anchor locker on this boat. Inside there, you can see loads and loads of space. Um, if I were to have a criticism here, I would say it really needs to have a, a fair lead here so that your anchor chain, when you've got it out, isn't going to damage um, this area here. So I'd quite like to see something being added onto there, some form of um, cleat or some sort of just chain protection system on the top there. Nice to see the PVA foam on the top there as well, which adds that bit of quality, but just a little amendment I'd make on the front there. So let's have another quick walk around the boat. I like the fact you've got good sturdy handrails all the way around. There's a handrail all the way around the, the top there and everywhere you look are nice safe places uh, to put your hands. So let's just come back out here. So just in summary, this has been the North Star Orion 8. Now this is really the middle boat in the size. Um, eight metre, really, really capable boat and powered with that Verado 300, gives speeds in excess of 50 knots, but really good fuel economy because of that Adam Younger hull. It's a chunky rib. I think there are some areas that could potentially just be improved with a little bit more thought, but I think North Star is really a brand that's up and coming. And I think in the next few years, um, we've seen a few less brigs and grands because obviously the issues of Ukraine, and we hope they get sorted out soon and start supply again. Um, but in the meantime, I think North Star is a brand that people should have a look at. Um, really good quality rib, and it's been nice to show it. Thanks as always for watching our videos. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.